Hey guys, I'm back with the second part of the sketchbook tour. I filmed this all in one day, so it's been another week for you, but for me, it's the same day. The same cool Twilight shirt. I've been on like a Twilight kick. I mentioned this before in the other video, but I only started watching it in 2020, like during the pandemic. Um, I've never read the books, but the movies are pretty goofy and I really like the baseball scene. So I think I have some Twilight fan art up on my Instagram. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll link it above and below for you to go see it because it'll make a lot more sense chronologically like going through the pages. But to sum things up, this sketchbook, I completed this during my senior year in high school when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my career and I figured out I wanted to do art because art is cool and I felt like I really had a passion for it. So I completed it about five years ago and it's it's fun to see the types of ideas I had and it's fun to look back on like how much my art has changed and like improved. I have more recent sketchbook work up on my Instagram. I post their daily, daily sketches and daily drawings as well as I have a previous sketchbook tour from fall 2022 on this channel so you could go check that out as well. Just get into this one so we can see the second part and the last of the drawings. All right, let's go. Actually, let's get a new friend. Let's get Gandalf. I feel like Gandalf would be good. Yeah, good vibes. Okay, all right, let's get into the next pages. Here are some more like Posca pen doodles or sketches of my sister from life. I really want to sketch more with Posca. I feel like it's super fun. You just get like this op opaque um, paint mark and it's really interesting. Some more watercolor experimentations. My sister again, um, some figure doodles. <laughs> my sister again. Hey, when you have someone in your house who's like willing to model, it's so nice because you just like, hey, can I just draw you and whatever you're doing? And they're like, yeah. Um, some like OC doodles. I really like this one. It's really cute. More OCs and like random dialogue. Probably angst. Ooh, I like this. Cool. A dilf, of course. Here are some sketches for, uh, I think it's like a solar print thing that I did. It's like the Mother Mary with the lamp. So I was like, connecting back to like the pieta and that i'll try and see if i can find pictures oh wait this is what it looks like yeah this is what it looks like it came out really dark but um i don't know i really like the lines and the motion it's cool this is interesting some doodles and planning i guess oh here's some better photos yeah yeah i like the tonality of it it's really interesting some random sketches. I have no idea what that thing is, and now I'm scared. Oh, we had to do a painting for like the Salem witch trials. It was super interesting. I'll try and see if I can find it because my sister like studies like the Salem witch trials. Um, I feel like it was super interesting to go back to that. Some more observational drawing, head drawings, character drawings. I think I was trying to like get my drawings from imagination, like my faces more towards a realistic point. And I was like struggling with that like a ton. And I still struggle with it. It's difficult. Difficult to know where to cross the line and where to put certain lines and where to leave out, but we're getting there. Some more figure practice. Again, from um, Crokey Cafe. I'll have them linked below so you guys can check them out because they're super helpful. Some more original character stuff. I really need to find like stable outfits for them because they change like every single time I draw them. So hope school has drained my artistic spirit. Ain't that the truth? Drawing of my brother. Some more random sketches. Oh, I was like part of like a calendar thing or I, I don't know if it was like Busok Soon or like Seventeen as a whole. The final like drawing came out as. I think it's really cute. I still like it because it, it pretty much looks like them, which is cool. Some more OC doodles, very dramatic, very angsty. Me as like a safari park ranger, just going crazy. I think this was Christmas time. I remember filling up this page. Yeah, sweaters, Christmas dress. Leg studies. I had like these interesting cutouts. I can't remember from what project I was doing, but it was cool to paste them in. Oh, this is when like everyone was doing like their spider sona and I was like trying to create mine. I originally thought of like a cowboy spider sona, but I was like, eh, it's too much like noir. Um, but then I was like thinking of like this one with like shorts and sneakers, very like much like Miles. This is like an observational thing from, um, I think I did it from life. I was like, had a super messy desk and that's my computer. But yeah, more spider sona things. Yep, here's my ticket for Into the Spider-Verse epic. It was a good movie. Some more 
I think some sketches of some like 17 members. This is Cedric Dickery, my first drawings of Robert Pattinson. I still don't fully know how to draw him. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, you can follow me on Instagram to see my struggles, but yeah, it's it's been difficult. Some more like character doodles. I was really into like fashion uh, magazines, so I would like paste them in. Some figure doodles. Here's like my spider sona fully coming into fruition. I, I like did like this smiley face on them. And yeah, I just really liked it. And like she would always get like a box of munchkins after like she would like fight. I feel, feel like that'll be fun. More doodles and head stuff. Head, no, not like that, but like head drawing stuff. Um, uh, figures. Yeah, I think this is when I was like trying to study like clothing on figures which I still struggle with a lot. I like, I personally have a very reduced style. I basically just wear t-shirts and shorts. So it's very difficult for me to come up with nice looking like fashion designs or like fashion on my characters. So that's something I really need to improve on. But um, yeah, that just takes practice. Um, some more doodles, pencil drawings of characters, some dance gestures. I really loved doing that at the time, it was super fun. Some more clothing studies. Um, yeah, focusing on like dresses and like formal dresses. Character stuff. Oh, this is 17, yeah, never mind. Oh, we're in January now. So it's like the spring semester of like senior year. Cowboys, this is the beginning. If you know, you know. Um, hand drawings, some more clothed figures. Some more clothes figures, like I was really like trying to push myself. Some fabric study. Some more clothes figures again. Yeah, I was going crazy. Oh, this is when I was studying um, George Bridgman. He has like an anatomy book, uh, like a PDF. And I think it's like free online. Like you can find it if you look it up online. I'll try and see if I can find a link and put it down below. But yeah, his way of breaking down the figure is super helpful in like learning form and structure and really getting like uh, like a solidness to your drawing, so I really recommend him. This is him again, and I was just like copying his drawings and like trying to figure out how he drew stuff. I feel like copying like a lot of artists is a great way to learn, not like posting it and crediting it as your own, that's not cool, but like just on your own learning it is really helpful. Some archway practice, or environment practice. Some more hands, I think. Yeah, these were studies from Bridgman. He had such like a visceral way of drawing hands and I loved it, so good. I need to like go back to that PDF and study again because I could still learn stuff. Some watercolor things. I like did a project for school and I was figuring out the color palette for it. Some more gestures. I really like this, it's fun. Doodles of OCs, DK again. I, <laughs> he was my favorite in 17, so there's like so many doodles of him in here. Some anatomy studies. Huh. It is him again. <laughs> I think I can't remember which album this was, but the the song I can't remember the song either. But I don't know it was just a good time, and he was wearing some really good outfits, so I was just like I have to drop them. Some more hand doodles, some color studies. Uh, these were like I was thinking of like possible like sticker ideas for like seventeen stuff. It didn't end up happening because I was like. 17 at the time and I did not have the facilities to make stickers, but I really like this. I was in AP Calc BC So I'd like be drawing during calculus and like stick things in Some hand and feet studies. Oh, it was a Valentine's Day page. That was really cute. Good times. Oh This is when I went on a tour of UCF Which is where I like graduated from just this past December. So this is actually crazy like Whoa, this is like when I was like first like trying to figure stuff out and learn stuff about UCF and if it would work out for me um, in their art program, which it did, yeah. And I met a bunch of cool people. Hello, fellow knights. Um, here are some like gestures, some figure gestures. I think this is from Croaky Cafe as well. Some more figures. That's a really nice, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, some, I think these are character doodles, yeah. Some more gestures little doodles of stuff. I really love big sketchbooks like this because you could just get like all these tiny little doodles in and it looks so much fun. And it is so much fun to fill. Acrylic study of that pencil drawing. I was still trying to get a grip on acrylic 
and I was using like Crayola acrylic, so it wasn't like the smoothest um, paint, but I know it was a good start and now I'm like, now it's one of my favorite mediums, so it's cool. The more OC doodles. Baseball is my life. That, that is so true right now. I love, I have a whole comic about a baseball night and then also Twilight has like that whole baseball scene. I love it. Never played it. I haven't been to a game in like 10 years, but you know, it's still fun. I think this was some more DK sketches. Yo, this is kind of epic. I think I was like drawing one of my characters and I was really trying to learn armor at the time. I'm still not good at design. I have to look up references and like tweak from other artists' drawings. I just need to study it. Oh, this is Merlin. So yeah, one of my favorite shows. Some gesture drawings of the dancers at my high school. I went to like an art school, so we went to go to like the dancing studio and draw some of the dancers. It was super fun. And you got really interesting shapes when they're wearing their um, skirt things or yeah, that really flared out. But yeah, like this is really great. I really love these. They're like so simple yet they capture so much. Some more original character stuff. No idea what's going on probably angst but I was like really trying to like develop their clothing and like armor and I just was not getting it some more character stuff um some more figure drawing Ugh, I love the Posca I need to use that again it's so good some more figure drawing I think yeah these are studies from Will Weston studio a really great figure source on Instagram really breaking down the figure into simple forms some more OC drawings I think this is um, a study from life I had like a cart that I would um, put my art supplies in some more figure drawings some hand studies it's figure drawing again I was like in my like fitness era so I was like watching a bunch of like fitness videos and I'm like, hey, these are actually really good like drawing references, so yeah. Some more figure drawings. That's the main theme in the sketchbook, just trying to learn. Some hand doodles. More face studies, some character studies. Some clothing ideas that I had. Some little like mouth studies because I really wanted my um, drawings to be more expressive in the mouth area because I felt like I did like the same like smirk or like smile in like every single like character drawing. I need to do this again to get some more variety and some more like energy. Some um, dancer doodles. I There's like studio like videos from like different dance companies that are really good to draw from. I really recommend it. Some quick brush pen hand studies. I was thinking I was just trying to like finish the sketchbook as soon as possible or something because I was like getting towards the end. But yeah, these are not too shabby. And I think I was like doing it from life. Like I had my hand and I was like drawing. Dang. And there's some good energy in these. Holy cow. Not bad. I like it. Then yeah, that's the end. I finished it March 31st. Wait, holy cow. Um, that's. I've been saying it's like been five years ago. I guess it's only been four years ago. Holy cow, that's crazy. Finished at the end of spring break, nice. Oh, and then here's like a painting study I did for, I think I was doing a, I had AP art history and we had to like recreate one of the paintings and like do like a paper on it. So I, I think this is um, Vermeer's painting. I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, this is not too bad. And I was like still trying to get a grip on acrylics a second end page yeah just of one of my characters goofing around but yeah i think that's it yeah that's the end cool and that was the second part of the sketchbook it is completed you guys saw the whole thing i'm thinking about when i open my shop kind of like doing scans of these things so you guys see it in like greater detail and i always i used to buy like sketchbook scans of all my favorite creators and just like devour them because i learned so much from other artists so i think it's like a great way of learning and looking at someone else's um process i learned so much about myself and my art through this sketchbook incredibly grateful for my past self really pushing herself to like really try things out and like give her the permission to i don't know like kind of put her everything into art i mean i obviously still had like school while this was going on so i didn't like go that crazy but i think i don't know i'm still kind of impressed by like the drive but i hope this video kind of gave you the permission to like put a lot of effort into your art and see what happens and like 
where it goes and like how much you can improve your skill or like explore your own ideas regardless of what people think about what you draw or like what even like what your skill level is I, I think just enjoy yourself and like don't worry about it being cringy because I don't know I feel like if it makes you happy then it's not cringe yeah if you truly love it don't let other people stop you but don't let other people like make you feel like less about your artwork because it's of certain characters of like or it's like a certain style who knows where it'll lead to in five years like you may just end up having like a ton of paintings of pastels and crazy stuff on your wall and you're just like how the heck did i get here but um you can follow me for more sketchbook content on my instagram i post a lot there and i have a painting instagram as well where i post a lot of these and a lot of the process of these and make sure to um like and subscribe to see more um sketchbook content or tutorials but yeah i'm thinking the next video will be like a studio tour or something because i like set this up last week all right i'll see you guys have a good day bye